Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn why perpendicular lines always have negative reciprocal slopes. Now, there's two important frames of reference here. The first is when we look at an xy coordinate plane, a vertical line has a slope of uh, undefined, and a horizontal line has a slope of zero. So the change in y over the change in x is the slope formula. So this one is undefined, we call that x over zero, and this one is zero. Now, the thing with this one is these are perpendicular, and this one is going exactly up. It's always going up, and this one's always going to the right. So they're doing the exact opposite in terms of direction. Now, another one to look at on a coordinate plane is a slope of 1, which is uh, moving over 1 and up 1, and a slope of negative 1, which again, these are perpendicular, slope of negative 1, which is going back over 1 and up 1. So that would be a change in y over a change in x of negative 1 over 1. Now the thing is, these are not exactly uh, negative reciprocals, because yes, 1 and negative 1 are negative reciprocals, but they also are just negatives of each other. And undefined and 0 are not exactly negative reciprocals. So we can look at another one of, say, a slope of 3 and a slope of negative 1 third. Now this would be perpendicular. And this is halfway, or not exactly halfway, but it's part of the way along from a slope of 1 and negative 1 to a vertical and a horizontal. And the idea is that for the slope of 3, well, any line going up and to the right is always positive. Any line going down and to the right is always negative. So we know that the two perpendicular lines, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. The reason it's a reciprocal is as we move towards the vertical and the horizontal, one is going to get sharper, and the other is going to get proportionally less sharp. So as this one goes up 3 and over 1, this one is going to go over, or rather up 1 for every time it goes over 3. That's why it's starting to get towards 0, and that's why this is starting to get towards infinity. So remember that they always move proportionally, and they have to move uh, in opposites. So you're going to have a negative, and the proportionality is reciprocal. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned why negative reciprocal slopes are, or rather perpendicular slopes, are always negative reciprocals. Thanks a lot.